So this place, if you're ever in San Francisco and you love fish, is an amazing place. It's on Clement Street, 6th Avenue Aquarium. And you look at the entrance. It doesn't look like an aquarium. It looks like a flower shop. And you walk into this place and it's crazy. They have such an amazing selection of fish in here. Uh, the staff is very friendly. And from what I'm told, you, you kind of get your own fish. If you want some, they give you a net, they give you a cup, and you scoop your own fish. Check these out, these neon colored ones. Now, I don't know much about fish, so if you're watching this and I say something wrong, you think I'm stupid, sorry, I don't know much about fish. I'll be up front right now. But I always think uh, these aquarium places are cool. And this one's really special because it's so big and they got so much variety. They got those clown fish down there. And some sea anemones. Check out this eel. Um, the sign says it's a black ribbon eel. Those are pretty uh, cool and creepy looking all at the same time. But this one's in a bowl. I like the yellow stripe. And these fish here, they literally look like they've had dye injected into them. If that's true, let me know in the comments because they do look like they've had dye injected into them. Bizarre. Color glass fish is what they're called. This is a flower horn. It's got the big bump on his head. Look at that thing. That thing looks like it belongs in the dinosaur era. Creepy, weird looking thing. These are some kind of gar. Oh, Lemon Oscar is what it says. Sign says Lemon Oscars. It must be another flower horn. Yeah, blue silk flower horn is what the sign says on this guy. Spotted puffer fish. You don't see those every day. And I was talking to the guy at work, so he says they get new shipments every week. Now these are the closest to looking like piranha that they got. Piranha are legal in California, but these things look like piranha. And look at these things. Very interesting looking fish. Needle nose gar is what those say. This it is. And these things, I think of those ones that get super big. You can see, you can find footage of these on the washed up on the beaches that are gigantic and people think they're um, undiscovered fish. I think. Another flower horn, popular fish here. So if you do come here, make sure you go upstairs, too. There's some Dory. Everybody calls them Dory. I don't know what the real names are, but... Ever since Finding Nemo, they're now Dory. But anyway, upstairs got has the more unusual fish. Um, but you can't really tell it's even available to go up until you're up there. These are cool. Uh, the upstairs, the stairs are at the back of the store. I like this one a lot. The colors on it. Reminds me of fish you'd see in Hawaii when you're snorkeling. This one's cool too. It says it's a Fang Fang Angel. These are bizarre looking too. Look, they got that little, one little pointy thing. 
And they got sea urchins. And sea anemones. And you can put in your tank. It's pretty awesome. And there's a good old dinosaur fish, a horseshoe crab. That hasn't changed in 10 million years or longer. A little crab in there. This one says a decorator crab. There's an eel of some kind, spotted or pretty cool looking. Look at this eel. Wow. I like the way he moves. As you can see, they got tons of stuff here. Supplies, it's not just fish, it's a complete store. And Clement Street is like the second Chinatown. Horn shark. So there's a lot of great food in the area too. Medium discus says 39 bucks for this that seems cheap to me I think other aquariums that charge a lot more than that and they look cool though and this is upstairs look at all the selections of things they have that you can put in your tank when I was a kid there wasn't a lot but now they got you know bells and castles and plants and rocks and skulls and what else? Shark teeth. I like the look at these. Alligator or dinosaur looking pirate chest. More skulls. Check this one out. It's old diver mask. I like that, that's awesome. More fish up here. Look at this guy. Snowflake moray eel. Another eel down there. I think. Final mouth working. And here's the old Siamese fighting fish, or the beta. I had a few of these when I was a kid. And if you hold a mirror up to the tank, they will think it's their enemy and flare up their gills and their fins. That's what I did as a kid. It's probably not too cool to do that to the fish. It gets them upset. But when you're a kid, you don't care. Um, mantis shrimp. Yeah, so oh, I see. They, yeah, he snaps like that, and it's the same strength as a 22 caliber bullet. So he can uh, he can really pop things open. <laughs> they use it to crush open uh, clams, crabs, wow. all kinds of small crustaceans.